Hi guys, welcome to Zcode System, and today we're going to be looking at a specific problem that happens to a lot of frustrated sports bettors out there, and that is having a bookmaker close or limit their accounts. Now, this is a practice that sportsbooks do use, and it isn't the most ethical practice that they use, but it is something they do employ when they find that their bettors are using certain tools and certain methods, as well as maybe winning too much money. So we're going to take a look at today just why bookmakers close or limit your accounts and how you can avoid it, and also a couple of tips on making sports books believe you're a casual better just betting on your favorite sport once in a while. So let's dive in right now, guys, as we look at why do bookmakers close or limit accounts and how can you avoid it? So as you can see here, I have three reasons to start out with why a bookmaker will freeze or close your account. And now the first one is a better's shrewdness. Now, this is something that you might do, and that is going to a website such as oddschecker.com and looking at the best value odds you can for a specific sports event. And let's use the Super Bowl as an example. If you go to oddschecker.com, you can find the best odds or a lot of the odds that the various sports books are using or, or offering. And you can target the ones that you want that gives you the most value uh, when you bet on it with that sports book. Now, sports books will flag your account if you are um, only betting on specific events and a lot of times winning profits at that. So this is a problem that sports bettors have because I do know quite a number of sports bettors, and you might be one of them that has multiple accounts with online sports books, and you only use specific sports books for specific events. Now, this can raise the eyebrows of sports books and cause them to close or limit your account. Welcome bonus and promotion abuse. This is something that a lot of sports bettors will do. They will sign up for a online sports book to get the welcome bonus or the promotion. They will use this to their advantage to have extra money, free bets, uh, what have you, with their new accounts. And a lot of sports bettors will open one account, and after those bonuses and promotions are used, they'll move over to another one. Now, if you are using these bonuses and promotions, especially with one sports book over and over again, this can also raise a flag, and you can have your account closed. So this is something that you want to avoid as a sports better. And one of the things is, Professional sports bettors, one thing that uh, can raise the ire of sports books as well is professional bettors normally do not use welcome bonuses or promotions. So going the opposite way of not using a bonus or promotion uh, regularly or often can make a sports book think that you are a professional better, especially if you are winning a lot of profit. So this one goes at both extremes. You could use it too much or too little and winning lots of profits can raise the eyebrows of sports books, thinking you're a professional better. So you want to fall into that middle ground uh, to avoid this from happening. Now, my last point here is winning profits. When you're winning profits and your withdrawals outweigh your deposits, a sports book can close or limit your account. Sports books do not want to lose money. They're in the business to make money. So when you are winning and you are withdrawing money and your deposits are not coming into them, they can see this as a reason to close your account. Is it is it ethical? Is it great business? No, not really, but that's what they will do and they will do that to prevent you from taking all of the uh, taking all of the winnings that you can. So these three reasons are reasons book sports books will close your account. Now let's look at a few other things here. And one is arbitrage. Arbitrage is sports betting is an activity in which you simultaneously place bets on all possible outcomes of a game. And these odds that you get will guarantee a profit no matter what the result of the game is. So you could bet on a win or a loss as long as you can get a profit when you make your bets. So this is a practice that a lot of bettors will use in a, in a system that works. Um, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of research to get this to work for you, but this is something that a lot of bettors employ, especially professional bettors. So 
Again, something sportsbooks will be on the lookout for. With the software that sportsbooks employ these days, they can follow your accounts very easily and they can flag these types of practices up. So how to avoid getting your betting account closed. So one thing that you want to do is start small and build up slowly. So don't start out with that $500 bet or that $1,000 bet. You need to start much slower than that. You start out with those big amounts and then you win big right away. You're going to get flagged and you're going to get your account closed. It happens to or it's happened to a lot of people in the past and it could happen to you. So be smart, start small and build up. Now, Another thing is don't make weird or odd bets. And by saying that, what I mean is use round numbers to begin with because this will draw less attention to you. Professional sports bettors know down to the last penny just what to bet on a specific game to get a specific profit. So this is something that sportsbooks look out for using their software. And when they do, they close accounts and freeze accounts or limit accounts. So instead of betting on... That, uh, that upcoming NFL game between the Jets and the Giants for uh, using $5.71, make sure that you round up or round down. So make that a $5 bet. You know That's just an example there to use. So be sure you're using round numbers and not any weird numbers and getting all your pennies and cents in there. Now, my last, my last point here is to not deposit or cash out too often. Uh, as I said before, Sportsbooks do not like it when you are winning too much money and you're just cashing out money. They want you to be playing with them for um, the long term. So if you keep your money into your account, this lets them think that you're going to continue to gamble with them. You're going to continue to bet on games with them. So don't be cashing out too often. Perhaps you want to have um, a weekly day in which you cash out or a, a day each month that you cash out. You don't want to do this too often. You don't want to do this every day or every time that you win a bet you want to hold off uh, there are a lot of sports bettors who when they make a deposit they will uh, keep tally of everything that they do everything that they deposit everything that they win and they won't go into their winnings when they are when they are betting and then they can just withdraw that when they are ready to withdraw money so that is a, a good way to keep sports books from closing your account or flagging your account up now let's look at two quick tips that I have here. And the first one is the mugs bet. Now this is a way to fool sports books. So this is a tool used by a lot of professional bettors in which professional bettors are making their bets. They're winning profits on games, but they're wanting to throw off sports books thinking that they are pros. So what they will do is they will just make a, what we call a mug bet or a silly bet uh, every once in a while. And this might be a bet on a, a game in the NFL or the NBA, whatever. But this is to fool them to think you're a casual better. So you want to use this tactic to throw off sports books to think you're just some casual mug, a casual better who is just throwing some money down on a random game. So this is a great way to throw them off and to confuse the software that they employ with their sports books. Now, lastly, if you use a progression betting system, then the idea here is to use multiple online bookies rather than just one. So don't just use that one online sports book when you're using your systems, your betting systems. So that is a great tip right there. So guys, this is something that happens a lot in sports betting, and that is getting your online account frozen. It can be very frustrating. It can be uh, maddening as well because you can build up a load of profits only to see a sports book close your account and prevent you from betting with them. Then you got to start all over again and you've lost all those profits. So don't let this happen to you. Use our tips, use our ideas, and uh, just try to throw them off, throw those sports books off, and help yourself in the long run winning those profits. So, guys, go over to Z Code System, pick up those great picks there. You can get some great information for winning profits on sports betting. And you can check out our blog and check out everything that we have there for our weekly picks, as well as reading the blog about sportsbooks close your betting accounts. So guys, good luck this week. We'll see you next time on Z Code System.